is a Gulf Coast institution. And while the ingredients may vary from region to region, the core elements, spicy broth, impeccably fresh seafood, and crusty bread for dunking remain constant. Of course, here at Planet Barbecue, we do things a little differently. Ladies and gentlemen, fire up your grills. Start by bringing two gallons of water to a boil. Add two cans of your favorite beer. Then add one quarter cup of shrimp oil, one quarter cup of Cajun seasoning, and one quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. Next, add a stick of unsalted butter, a couple of pounds of new potatoes, peeled carrots cut into chunks, celery, bay leaves, and a bunch of cilantro. Let this mixture return to a boil. This will be the base broth. So that's the boil part. Now the grill part. Brush okra with extra virgin olive oil. Brush corn and finally onion wedges. Then season with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. I use this double skewering rafting technique a lot for small foods. It makes turning them on the grill a snap. This shrimp oil actually has two components. There's the boiled component and the grilled component. Arrange your poblano peppers on the grill grate, followed by the onion, followed by your okra skewers and the corn, and finally, your andouille sausage. The idea here is that we grill some of the ingredients to add extra flavor to the broth. Once the vegetables and sausage are browned on both sides, transfer them to a sheet pan. Cut your corn into one inch rounds. Then cut the poblanos into two inch pieces. Unskewer the onions and the okra. And here are your grilled vegetables and sausage, ready to add to the shrimp boil. Just remember, with each additional ingredient, we add another layer of flavor. Now, the final movement of our shrimp boil symphony. So, take these little neck clams and add them to the broth. For shellfish, I'm using head-on shrimp and soft-shell crabs. Drizzle the seafood with extra virgin olive oil and season it with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. And give a toss to coat the shrimp and seafood on the bottom. Then back to the grill. Now arrange the shrimp on the grill grate. And soft shell crabs. I love the char on the shellfish. Once the shrimp shells are seared, add the shrimp to the boil. Mm. I wish you could smell this. The aroma is incredible. Mm. 
Then add your fire-seared crabs to the boil. Here, folks, is your Planet Barbecue shrimp boil. Let's see how we did. So with a slotted spoon, we'll fish out the solid ingredients. And then this luscious broth. And finally, for mopping off the broth, Texas toast. Brush with butter, sprinkled with tahini, grilled until crunchy. And what's a shrimp boil without some friends to enjoy it? Come on in. Rebecca. Thank you. Lauren. Thank you. Kieran. Okay, and there's your broth, so let's sample. I have a piece of bread. All right, Texas toast. Just perfect for dipping. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh man, that's great. Really All right. right, good, okay. Grab a shrimp. So you know what they say in New Orleans is you uh, suck the heads and eat the tails. So. That's where all the flavor is. That's right, in the head. Beautiful, Rebecca, nicely done. I like how you got all the classic flavors of a seafood boil with some of the smoke from the grill adds a lot of dimension. Well, thank you very much, Rebecca. <laughs> okay.